Today, we're diving into a big topic, one that frankly gets ignored far too often in the corporate and entrepreneur world and even in our personal lives. But it's an absolute necessity if you want to operate with world-class health and world-class executive performance and ultimately thrive in what we call the three big pillars. And that's your business, that's your community, and that's your family. You see, we live in a culture that praises and even idolizes grinding hard, pushing limits, and never stopping. We admire the CEOs who work 20 hours a day, the entrepreneurs who skip meals for meetings, the parents who sacrifice their health, their fitness, and their sleep for success. And that's quote unquote, as they say, the only way to succeed. But don't get me wrong, sacrifices and hard work is a necessary ingredient. But what if I told you that this isn't just unsustainable? What if I told you that it's also a major roadblock to achieving the very things that you're chasing? And so today I'm going to share why optimal health isn't just a benefit, it's a competitive advantage. It's the ultimate edge for leadership, innovation, and making a real difference, whether this is in your business, your life, or at home. So let's break down how prioritizing your health is going to translate to better leadership, clearer thinking, and ultimately more meaningful success. Now, let's be honest here. We're all guilty putting our health on the back burner at some point in time. Maybe if you skipped workouts, maybe if you cut back on sleep, or maybe you grab something quick and process for lunch just to save time a couple of times. But here's the catch. Every time we do this, every time that we neglect our health, what we're doing is we're borrowing in energy from tomorrow and eventually that bill will come due and the more we prolong it the bigger it gets the more interest that accumulates and so research shows that nearly 80 percent of executives admit to feeling regularly stressed with a large percentage of those also facing burnout and here's another twist with that when you are consistently exhausted your cognitive function plummets you're not innovating you're not thinking strategically you're just reacting you're operating on autopilot and that's a dangerous place to be. That's a suboptimal place to be. So I want you to think about it this way. Every time you choose convenience over your health, you're slowly chipping away at your own competitive advantage. It might not seem like a big deal today, but the compound effects over months, over years, is astronomical. You may not feel the impact right now, but there's a cost to that's building, that's accumulating in the background. And that's going to show up in your energy, your mood, and your overall mental resilience. You're sacrificing future potential for short-term wins. Now, let's actually look at the other angle. Let's Let's flip this around. Imagine what's possible when you're operating at your best, when you're healthy, when you're sharper, when you're more decisive, when you're able to think several steps ahead like an awesome chess grandmaster. That's what leaders need. They need to innovate. But to innovate, you need energy, not just for today, but for the long haul. And studies consistently show that leaders who prioritize their health, they outperform those who don't. They command more respect due to having better executive presence. They recover from setbacks faster. They're seen as more competent by their teams. They're more motivating. They're more charismatic. Picture this. Think about this. Who is going to make the better call at the end of the day? Person that's running on fumes, person running on coffee and full of adrenaline or the individual who has kept their health in check, maintained their energy and approaches their challenges with a level-headed reservoir of energy. And let's talk about decision-making. High stakes choices require clarity and calm not knee-jerk reactions driven by exhaustion and stress. And that's where optimal health becomes your strategic advantage. It gives you the edge, the clarity, the resilience that others are going to be lacking. And so leadership is not just about making a few big wins. It's about being there over the long term, consistently there. If your health is always on the back burner, there's going to come a point where that bill is going to be due. There's going to come a point where you just can't keep up. But if you prioritize it, if you put those investment buckets in day in and day out. You're setting yourself up not just for career success, but you're setting yourself up for a life that is deeply fulfilling, resilient, impactful. And so imagine having the energy, having the health to be fully engaged with both your work and the people who matter most to you. Optimal health is not just productivity hack. Optimal health is not just about looking good in a suit. Optimal health is the gateway to showing up fully in every single area of your life. It's about being able to lead. It's about being able to succeed while still having more than enough energy left over to be present at your dinner table, to be active with your family and kids, and to be there present without compromise. Success is not just about hitting numbers. It's not just about achieving milestones. It's about the legacy that you're building. It's about how you're impacting society. And you can't do that if you are 
running on fumes. So it's time to get practical here. It's time to put some action steps here. And these are five steps to start prioritizing your health right now. Steps that will ultimately help you start operating more with an edge that, that's going to be needed to lead and succeed. And so number one here is to prioritize your quality sleep. This sounds simple. We hear this all the time, but sleep is a massive factor when it comes to our cognitive functioning, when it comes to our mood, when it comes to our resilience, when it comes to our decision making. So make sure that you're setting a regular sleep schedule. It's not just about quantity, it's about quality as well. Make sure that you are also limiting your screen time before bed. Make sure that you're creating a restful environment. Make sure, and this is a shocking, this is a surprising one for a lot of people, get all this stuff out of your head before laying down at night. One of the things that I do is want I plan my day the night before, but I also journal a little bit because there's a lot of things going through my head. Sometimes there's various stressors in my life. Take some time just to get all that out. And this one change can have a ripple effect on everything else that you're doing. Step two is to move daily. I'm not talking about a huge gym commitment here or running for miles daily unless you like that stuff. Just prioritize moving your body. Walking is a foundation for everyone. And then gradually build out from there. This can be with a couple of days of resistance training, cardiovascular training throughout the week. Movement ultimately improves your blood flow, which then improves your brain health, which then also keeps your mind sharp. Now, step three here is to fill your body and mind with the right foods that is unique and tailored to your unique biology. So diet isn't about restriction. It's about nourishing yourself. It's about having the right foods for your set of genes. So stick to whole foods when you can. Avoid the heavy processed carbs that slow you down and hydrate. It's a forgotten thing, but I promise you it is going to make a world of difference for you. And also think of food as your fuel. The higher quality, the better your brain and body will perform over the long term. Number four here is to, I want you to schedule breaks and boundaries. If you're always on, you're headed for burnout. You're headed for unfulfillment as well. Give yourself some permission to step away. Give yourself permission to take breaks and recharge because you're going to come back better after doing those things. You're going to come back much more creative and rejuvenated when you take a little break and recharge. Boundaries is another thing that's underrated. And these are essential, especially in high stress environments. So protect your time and your energy just as fiercely as you're going to protect your schedule and you're going to protect your business. And number five here, the last one on step five is to operate with a growth mindset. Optimal health isn't a one-time fix. It's not a dead end street. It is a journey. There will be days where you're not perfect. There will be days where you cannot get the training that you need in. There will be days where everything's going to hell in a handbasket. But the goal is to keep improving, even if it's 1%. And that's a Kaizen principle. Focus on steady progress. Remember that small steps ultimately add up over time and become large, monumentous things. And so here's what I want you to take away today. Optimal health. It's not just about feeling good. It's about securing your place as a resilient, as a visionary leader. It's about showing up at your best and being fully present for those who depend on you. You know, this whole thing is it's not just about us. There's a lot of people that we have influence over, whether positive or negative. So whether you're leading a team, whether you're building a business, raising a family, Optimal Health gives you the foundation to do it all with clarity, resilience, and purpose. Imagine being able to look back on your life and see that you didn't just chase success, but you live fully engaged. You live thriving. You had it all, as they say. Optimal Health is not just another item on your to-do list. It's your greatest competitive advantage. It is your advantage, and it's yours for the taking. Embrace it, prioritize it, and watch how everything else falls into place. So thanks for watching. If you found this episode valuable, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you haven't, share this with anyone who might need to a reminder that health is their ultimate competitive advantage. It's not just a benefit. It's a personal obligation that we owe to ourselves, to our families, and to society as well to be at our absolute best. So stay awesome, be limitless, and as always, go be the CEO of your health and your life. Peace.